Let's write the formula for sucrose. You might know sucrose as table sugar, the sugar that we cook with, for instance, making candy. So sucrose is kind of a shortened name. This is the preferred IUPAC name. So with this name, you could figure out the actual structure for sucrose and write the formula, but it would be a bit challenging. So the actual chemical formula for sucrose, the molecular formula for sucrose, that's C12H22O11. We have 12 carbon atoms, 22 hydrogen atoms, and 11 oxygen atoms, and these are all bonded together. But this doesn't really tell us, just looking at the molecular formula, how they're bonded together. For that, we'll need the structural formula for sucrose. Let's get rid of this. So here's the structural formula, and we actually have glucose and fructose, they come together. That's what forms sucrose. They're bonded together with this oxygen here. So if you count up the atoms, you'll end up with C12H22O11. But here with the structural formula, you can see how they're arranged. Do note that there are carbon atoms here where these lines join. And there are also some hydrogen atoms that aren't shown as well. Let's look at a molecular model of sucrose just to see that. So here's our model of sucrose. And now you can see these black, those are the carbon atoms, the whites are the hydrogens. So this is the model. You see here's that ring with six atoms in it. And then over here, we have the ring with five and it's joined by this oxygen right here in the middle. So this is a molecular model for sucrose. So it gives us a little more information in terms of three dimensions that we don't necessarily have with that structural formula. Let's take a look at the surface of the molecule for a second. So now we can see the red, that's more electronegative. That's gonna be where the oxygens are. The blue, that's more positive. And because we have these negatives and these positives here, in terms of the electrostatic surface of the molecule, we can see that sucrose is a polar molecule in other polar solvents like water. That's why sugar dissolves in water because we have this polarity here. Let's go back to our structural formula so to recap the chemical formula, our molecular formula here for sucrose, C12H22O11. We can also draw a structural formula to see this, how they're all bonded together. And if we looked at a molecular model, we could really visualize those three dimensional connections between atoms. This is Dr. B with the formula for sucrose. Thanks for watching.